Buenas tardes, Atenians. Welcome to Aguila Online, the online tambayan of the Atenes Zamboanga University Senior High School. Today is a very important session because we're going to talk about the modular continuity learning plan of the ADSU Senior High School. Please watch us. We are on Atenes Zamboanga University Senior High School page. We are fortunate to have with us two of our key persons in the unit. We have our assistant principal for academics. We have engineer Belino Rosagaron Jr. And of course, we have the department chairperson of the humanities and social sciences. We have Mr. Rovic John Eslao. Okay, good, good afternoon, Sir John. Good afternoon, Sir Rovic. So again, to our parents, to those who are watching, you can ask questions later on, especially sa mga concerns natin about the senior high school opening up classes. I think our parents no, are curious sa new normal again paano yung klase ng atin yung senior high school will will there be number of hours ba per day na kailangan ni accomplish ng bata paano yung formation meron ba tayong day where in students are still going to have their formation sessions anong role ng moderator sa new normal tapos paano ba yung written works natin at saka performance task those will be answered later on so you don't you just uh, have to listen to us very carefully and of course you have to interact with us uh, by giving comments and suggestions. We are very open for suggestions, no, especially from our parents. Given that a month from now, perhaps we're going to start our classes. Sige, mag-start muna tayo, okay? So, uh, anybody can answer lang, no, Sir John or Sir Rovic, anybody lang who's available. Sige, um, what is the right learning kit ba? Uh, what is this all about? Kung baga pa lang, what does the right learning kit stand for? I know our students are aware of this, and if you're a member of the uh, at Ateneo sa Mong University community, alam niyo na to. But at least to our parents no, na hindi pa rin na alam, what does right kit stand and what does it mean in the new normal? Sige po, sinong pwede mo? So mag Good um, afternoon, Ram. Good morning, everybody. So it's just like uh, it is synonym with uh, the lesson plan or the unit plan in the left ed. But for the Ateneo, uh, our module, we call it the right the right, uh, the right kit. So, right actually is a, an acronym for um, that um, stands for responsive for R, I stands for independent, uh, G guided, holistic, and technology assisted. So, that is the right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the right is our module for the new normal. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung ipapalo natin na parang kumbaga lesson planning, conduct ng classes natin, doon natin yun. Sige, Sir Rovic naman, how, how does the right kit work? Paano yun? Like, what does it look like and how it will be delivered to our students? So basically, uh, thank you. Hello, Sir Rams. Hello, Sir Rams and everyone. Basically, the right learning kit is like a kind of book, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will be based, uh, the parents will pick up in the campus. Uh, guidance will follow later. But the, the right learning kit consists of all the lessons in particular subject. And then it will be divided per unit. Basically, what a topic depends on the subject, and students there will answer uh, the questions. Basically, the quizzes, uh, uh, activities will be presented in the right, right learning kit, and that is that, that, that's what we call an asynchronous uh, learning, wherein uh, the learner, but the learner and the teacher will not necessarily meet uh, together, but the learning will be done with the right learning. Kit. Okay, so if it's a being, we're going to have it. Like, kumbaga, dadayin nyo lang yung kit sa inyo at home and that's where you answer. And of course, anong role, Sir John, ng moderator, halimbawa, or yung subject teacher? Kasi di ba ibibigay natin sa mga bata yung right learning kit. So pag ako subject teacher, Sir, ano yung role ko? Actually, the, uh, our right learning kit will be divided into two. So, it will be um, by, by month lang ibibigay natin since we will have two months only for the subject. Um, so we will have the discussions, not necessarily the discussion, but the consultation. We will have the synchronous and the asynchronous activities, wherein uh, in the asynchronous, uh, the learners are really advised to uh, do the task, and, uh, do the assignment, read, anonymate, and all. But uh, during uh, synchronous activities, that's the time that um, the learners could ask or interact with their teachers just for the consultations. Uh, meaning, para siyang flip classroom wherein uh, 
the students or the learners will have to study first, then uh, ask questions later on during the synchronous activities. Uh, during the synchronous activities, that's the time that the teacher will synthesize, give explanations and all, but not necessarily give uh, the lecture in a PowerPoint presentations and all, because it is already advised to the students, to the learners, to do their part independently mm -hmm. in an asynchronous session. Okay, thank you, Sir John. So this is contrary no, to what other parents think. As akala ng ibang parents, papabayaan natin. Mm -hmm. And sa akala ng ibang parents, once we call of the kid, that's it. No, in our setup, there's going to be a consultation with the subject teacher, even with the moderators. So if it's a being, it's still the type of learning that, you know, we, we follow a face-to-face -face slash face-to-face -face style when there's going to really be like consultation and all. Kahit still sa face-to-face -face naman no, may consultation tayo ginagawa. Dito nga, better, I think, eh, because the consultation is small group eh, discussion. So, maganda siya. Sige, sir, you made mention ka rin na, sir, na two months lang. Kasi sa regular school year natin, sir, may eight, a semester rather, may eight or nine classes tayo. So, pag two months lang, sir, ilang classes lang yung take ko pag grade 11 or 12 ako. Okay. In a given year, based on the depth and order, we have two semesters mm -hmm. for the senior high school. Uh, we categorize it as the first semester and the second semester. Uh, now for the senior high school, for this new normal, for this school year, we divide the, the first semester into two quarters and the second semester into another two quarters. We call the first semester as the first quarter and the second quarter. And for the second semester, we call it the third quarter and the fourth quarter. Now, um, since we have only eight months in a given year, so we divide it into two, so we have four months per semester. And again, we divide it by quarter, so meaning we have only two months, two months per quarter. So since we have only two months per quarter, we divide the eight or nine subjects into two parts, the first quarter and the second quarter, wherein in the first quarter, learners would only be given four subjects to complete in a given two months. And for the second uh, second quarter, another four subjects will be given to the learners. But of course, uh, the modules or the right kit will already be given to them prior to the discussion so that they can already study on their own. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if it's a being not our students, four or five lang per five, in two months. months. Yeah, oh, months. Tama. So again, no, you're not going to really be given no eight or nine subjects no, again, again. So this is also in consideration to our new normal, Sir John. No, no. Para bang we also want you to as much as possible uh, get that the the subjects because we weigh in no, the subjects, sir. No, para trinay namin i-balance yung subjects para yung four na papasok sa inyo, combination of specialized, yes. combination ng core, at saka ng uh, score and applied subjects. So, ganun yung ginawa natin, no? Sige, sir, you also may mention kanina na ibibigay sa mga bata yung uh, prior to prior to the conduct of classes, ibibigay sa mga bata yung right kita natin. So, paano natin ibibigay yung sir, Joe? Ano yung mood, kumbaga, ng delivery natin ng learning kit? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, meron tayong uh, online, mm -hmm. yung soft copy, they can download mm -hmm. the right kit online kung meron silang internet. But if not, we will also, since it is also uh, kasali dun yun sa tuition nila, ah. yung right kit pinayara nila yun, uh, so magbibigay tayo ng hard copy sa kanila. Yun. So, yung parents, for instance, we will schedule uh, kung kailan silang pwede, it will be by section, by grade, grade level. Pupunta sila yung parents, kukunin nila yung modules, yung right kit dito sa school, and it will be by section, by strand, and by, ano, you know, by grade level. Mm, okay. So we're going to parang the list or a list no? or a general yeah. announcement kung yeah. sino-sinong sections perhaps or ano-anong grade level ang pwede for this week. week. Okay. Kasi our teachers naman are finalizing our our module. So hopefully, no, by this week we're going to finish our module writing and start printing. Sige. Sir, so, okay. Curious lang siguro no, yung ating mga parents kasi you know naman there are subjects kasi for, for our subjects like the languages and the sciences in terms of parang the new normal, parang kaya ituro yun. Paano naman sa humanities and social sciences? Halimbawa yung sa PE. So, kasi I know, you, alam mo naman yung parents na parang, paano kayong PE? Kasi yung, yung, yung English at saka science, parang madaling i-imagine yeah. kasi. So, how about sa PE, sir? May plan ba tayo? How's the mode of teaching natin sa PE for the new normal? Sige, sir. I, I believe that you're, you're trusting the right person since I'm handling yes. the PE department. 
So basically, uh, what we discussed with our teachers, you know, for our parents, uh, uh, before in the uh, before, uh, last school year, there was a change in the, in the curriculum. Basically, uh, the, the the old old style is, you know, for PE, for example, you know, grade, let's say grade eleven, it's more focused on exercise mm -hmm. exercises. So what happened before was. Uh, the teacher will just teach steps and then students will perform. That's it. That's the old one. Mm -hmm. But the new one, which we actually that's our plan before, but the pandemic really you know made it more more uh, possible. So the students will be taught the steps itself, mm -hmm. and they will be the ones who design the steps. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, PE is based uh, more on application of steps. Basically, well, uh, for grade twelve, we had the dance program. So. This is different from the grade 11, which is more on exercises. So grade 12 is more on dance exercises like hip hop. Uh, I said before, I mean, the last school year, we had dances like folk dances, mm -hmm. ethnic dances. Uh, wala na, uh, wala na yun. It will be, uh, it will be uh, taken out already. So we were focusing on hip hop and, and the, the, the dances would be more on exercises. Mm -hmm. So it's more on the, the, the learners themselves will be taught how steps are done. Mm -hmm. And they will create these steps according to their health plan, because basically the the PE in the senior high school is physical education and health. So therefore, the, the target for our learners to achieve is that they will connect their steps or their exercises according to their health pro, uh, health problem or health issue. And basically, that would be our PE over for this. Oh, okay, thank you, sir. I'm comprehensive, no? So again, so my parents that don't have to worry, no, baka. You might be asking us, paano ba those students go to school to practice PE? You know, walang ganon. Ibig sabihin, with the curriculum standards we have for uh, PE, it's it's making students really be healthy at home, no? Yes. Para bang may mga programs. Also, ang maganda dito because students on their own kasi yes. eh, will, will do it. Sige. So you may mention kanina no, na may apat lang tayo na subjects per 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 quarter per two per two months okay, two per months. quarter. So paano yun, sir? May class schedule pa rin ba tayo? Yes. Okay. Paano yun, sir? Um, basically, last last year, the last school year, we have that face to face, mm -hmm. you know, wherein the schedule will be for the classroom setting. But we still adapt the classroom setting, the schedule only. But it will be uh, assigned for a synchronous synchronous sessions, meaning uh, that's the time. Uh, for instance, in a given day, we have three periods only from nine to eleven, then twelve thirty to two thirty, then three to five. Meaning, at most. This, the learners could have two sessions for synchronous only in a given day. And in a given week, uh, it will only be four. Four hours lang sila, meaning there will be only two days, two days uh, per subject. Per subject. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, sir. So, ngayong sa, sa ating new normal, mag-meet lang yung every subject, kumbaga, twice in a week. Yeah, twice in a week. two hours per meeting. So, hindi sabihin, pag grade 11 or grade 12 ka, sa isang subject, 4 hours ang i-google mo every week. Yes. Okay, so clear din sa ating mga parents. 4 no? hours per, per, per synchronous, synchronous. For synchronous. Okay, for synchronous learning yun. Okay, so how about naman sir, like for example, I think parents din yung nagtatanong. Kasi sa atin niyo kasi we're known sa formation side natin. Yeah. Eh, we're known to be really be into retreats and recollections, yeah. formation sessions, may guidance sessions yeah. tayo, may homeroom sessions yeah. tayo. Paano yun? So sa new normal, paano yung set up natin sa ganung mga okay. sessions? Um, in a given week, there are five mm -hmm. days. And the four days, the Monday, Tuesday, uh, Thursday, and Friday, that will be for the academic mm -hmm. days. But the Wednesday, we allocate it for our formation. Mm -hmm. Meaning, nandun na yung guidance, nandun na yung formation, nandun na yung retreat, and all with respect to the formation of the learners. Do natin ilalaan yun. In a full day yun, in a Wednesday. So imagine, no, pag ikaw at atanihan ka, pag nasa senior high school ka, your entire Wednesday is allotted on the holistic development, sir, no? Para bang ang guidance natin, I know they're working on programs, yeah. our campus ministry, yes. the, the AP yeah. for formation, no? Ang lahat ng, actually lahat ng offices, sir, no? Yeah. Nagko-collaborate, even the OSS, no? Lahat sila nagko-collaborate in order to come up with a Wednesday session. And also class moderators. May class moderators naman tayo, no? Sa mga grade 11, yung class moderators, so kung baga, class advisors yeah, na yun. Yeah. Sa ibang school, class advisors, advisors. Eh. So, class advisor nyo, so halimbawa, may mga sessions tayo, nandun din yung class advisors nyo to really help you out. Sige. Uh, wait, can I add? Yes, yeah, sige, uh, The Wednesday is called, according to the Formation Council, is Manresa, Manresa Wednesday. Okay. Now, why Manresa? Because basically, it's a reference to uh, 
the journey of Saint Ignatius, which is our patron saint, where he wrote his spiritual exercises in a town in Spain called Manmas. So basically, uh, we got, we're we gonna brand it that way yes. so that uh, uh, students, the, the learners themselves, would experience how Saint Ignatius. Uh, did the spiritual exercise. Yes. So it's called Manresa Wednesday. Okay, so I think no, ang maganda dito, but that, Sir Rovic, that's included in primer natin. Yes, yes. Also, Before primer. I forget, no, no, Sir Rovic, can you explain to us, ano ba yung primer and what does it do <laughs> to the unit? Para ba, I know, at ibang parents, no, siguro, parang hindi sila masyado pang, especially for those na grade 11, okay. right? yung mga hindi galing na Teneo, yes. uh, junior high school, hindi galing sa Catholic institution, for example. So, What's a primer, Sir uh -huh. and, and what does it do to the unit, sir? So basically, the primer is like, a, it's just a, it's in primer, an introduction, mm -hmm. a regular uh, guide mm -hmm. in, in, in the new norma, for example. So it's like an appendix in the student handbook. Mm -hmm. so it's like a student, it's, we still have the student handbook, but the primer will basically uh, more focused on how the senior high school will operate in the new norma. Okay. So all of the, uh, the things that, uh, we need to inform our parents, our students, on what is going to happen during the course of our first and second semester of school year. It will be, uh, it will be stipulated in our primer. Oh yes, kung baga parang detailed yung sir Robi kung ano ano yung plans na ano may attention. It's just like the guidelines. Mm -hmm. Okay, so set of guidelines sa kung paano yung normal. I think. You know, if you've been watching the Aguila online from the very beginning with our session with Father Abong until today, alam niyo may mga points kami din discuss And I know some of you are still unclear sa ibang points. So with with the help of our primer, mas clear na yun, no? Mas in-explain namin sa primer. And hopefully we can release the primer very soon. So, yeah. Yes, so very soon, so, so. we will release the primer of our unit. Sige, speaking of ano, no, classes natin ngayon, sir, paano yung, ano natin, sir, yung uh, our... Uh, grading system, kasi kanina na class schedule tayo. So paano yun, sir? May mababago pa sa ating grading system? It will just be the same. Mm -hmm. Hindi natin pwedeng baguhin man kasi depth order yun. Yes. It so, will still be the same. Mm -hmm. Our grading system will follow the depth order, meaning we will still have the written mm -hmm. works, we will still have the performance task, and we will still have the quarter ah. exam. And the quarter exam, if there will be a quarter mm -hmm. exam, it will be given at the end of every month since we have only two months okay. per subject. Okay, so, yes, so now let's let's look at the, uh, the, the written work, sir. Like, students are, I know naman, are curious. So, pag may book kami, pag may module kami, so paano kami erinate? I know uh, some students are curious, no, sir. Sure. So, paano yun, sir? Pag yung written work, saan, paano sasagutin yung written work? Nasa light kit na ba yun? Nandun na ba yun? So, how's the written work, sir, for the new work? Okay. In, in the module or in the right kit, nandun na lahat yung mga written works, nandun yung mga exercises and assignments. Isasali na yun, incorporate na natin yung dun sa right kit. Then, i-answer yeah, din nila in a, in a given time frame. For instance, pwede mag-submit sila ng uh, daily output nila. Pwede din silang uh, twice a week or yan, weekly yung pag-submit nila ng given. Uh, kung ano yung ipapasagot sa kinala ng teacher yung assignment or in a given worksheet. Mm, so, ibig sabihin, sir, lahat ng mga uh, written works na assessment ng bata nasa right kit na mismo. Okay, sige. Both na yung formative mm -hmm. and the summative assessment. Okay. Na yun. Yes, sir. Sige. Thank you, sir. No, na, nasanay kasi mga students natin, no, sir, sa senior high school, that when we talk about performance tasks, it's a group task. Yeah. So, oh. most of the times, pag nagpa-performance tasks sa'yo, we really give them enough time to accomplish a certain task. Paano sa new normal natin, sir? Will there be a possibility that students will still be grouped for performance tasks? Or our performance tasks are, are solely individual? How do we go about our performance tasks? It, mostly, it will be individual. But there are some teachers na mag-group talaga sila because uh, ano, uh, pero siguro at most uh, four members mm -hmm. in a group but we encourage really individual performance tasks and it will be in a grass form yes. meaning um, based on a classroom setting what they have learned in the classroom anong gagawin nila with what they've learned in a real life scenario so yun yung kanilang gagawin performance mm -hmm. task uh, maybe pwede nilang i-wanna up me as an engineer I'm going to plan a certain project based on what I've learned in mathematics and even in my IT subject. In yes, no? in our performance task, kasi we always expect students to assume a different role. No? Yes. We don't want our students to remain as students, students in the performance task. It has to be a real life 
career pa, may goal pa sila and all. But it's also very important no, for parents to take note that we are not also solely on individual, although mostly yeah. sir, no individual mm-hmm. tayo, but there are also uh, parts of our module na pwede natin i-group yung mga bata. We, this can be predetermined. Like earlier now when I talk to sciences, they're, they're talking about case studies and also napag-usapan nila na i-group nila yung mga bata. Predetermined yun. Plus there are ways naman, for example, in Zoom, no? our one of our learning management systems, even in e-class, there's, all, there's a way that you can group students. Pero hindi naman kailangan lagi i-group natin yung students. Yeah. No? It's, I don't know. But at least for the major performance task, if, if feeling natin mahihirapan yung bata to accomplish it individually or on his own, we can also ask the help of other members, yun nga, via Zoom, via e-class, and other learning management systems. Okay? okay. Sir Rams, may, if I may add with respect to the performance okay. task, um, we will try our best to give our students or our learners at most two performance okay. tasks. Meaning, pwedeng dalawa, pero so, i-encourage natin na isa lang talaga okay. ang yung major performance mm-hmm. task natin. But there will be some scaffoldings mm-hmm. that uh, in a form of a written works mm-hmm. or maybe uh, in a form of a performance task. Yes. Kumbaga, we, we give you little activities, no? Kumbaga, parang sa engineering lang ba, sir, no? Parang before ka makakam up ng isang building, may scaffold ka yeah. muna. Dapat may foundation, may foundation muna. So, Kasi hindi mo mabibuild yung, yung nga establishment kung walang foundation. So, ibibuild mo natin yung foundation and then we can have the finished product. Sure. Sige. Okay. Sige, sir. Uh, for example, estudyante ako, natapos na yung two months, paano? Sa, saan mapupunta ang right kit, sir? So, hawak-hawak pa ang right learning kit. Sir, tapos na kami, sir. Ano na, tapos na ang quarter exam. So, ano mangingyari sa right kit, sir? Paano yung maibabalik sa atin sa senior high school? Actually, pwede yung per- two options. Mm-hmm. It's either yung parents yung magde-deliver mm-hmm. o magsasubmit ng right kit ng learners mm-hmm. or worst scenario is, for instance, may mga students tayo or learners na nasa holo or nasa mm-hmm sa Pasilan or even as far as Bungao. Yes. So, pwedeng ipadala lang yun sa Korea. Mm-hmm. Yung mga ganun. And, kung halimbawa, um, meron tayong mga learners na nag, ano to, nag, lal, nag-board lang dito. Na, uh, so, pwedeng meron tayo yung mga nagde-deliver, mm-hmm. yung mga manpower na pwedeng sila yung kukuha ng right kit at sila din yung magde-deliver ng right kit doon sa mismong learner na mm-hmm. Okay, sige. I-clear lang natin sa mga students natin ha. Kasi most of our students kasi are below 21 eh. Yes, Wala pa yung face-to-face learning ha. Baka, you might, ano, baka magugulat na lang kami. You insist to your parents, especially sa mga nearest, pra- nearest provinces, no? baka you really insist of going to Zamboanga City. We will find ways on how the right kit will you know, be delivered to you. You don't have to go to Zamboanga. You, know? you just have to make sure also that you contact your class moderators crucial sir no yung yung ano yung role ng class moderators crucial yeah. yung role ng advisor dito eh kasi ikaw yung in charge also with info dissemination aside from the group page aside from the facebook page ng adzu aside from the announcements coming from our administrators importante yung role ng moderator so dapat to mga to our parents or watching no dapat kilala natin ang class moderator ha ng ating mga anak importante kasi yun eh para bang pag may concerns ka automatic sa class moderator kasi it's especially on concerns, mahirap kasi pag meron silang apat or limang subject teachers. Whereas, pag nasa moderator kayo, you can go directly sa mod or pwede din naman sa mga subject teachers nila. Plus, I think naman, this we're going to really come up with an official Facebook page for all classes. I think, yeah. sir, may consider natin yun para magkakaroon tayo ng isang Facebook page officially for a section. Para, kasi naging problema ng bata, marami ng group chat, marami ng group pages, marami ng lahat na sa part na sila ng chats. No? So, we will find a way on how we can have, can have really one official Facebook page per section with all the students there, with the moderator there, and with the subject teachers for that quarter. Para at least kung may announcement si subject teacher, isang announcement na lang. Pag may announcement si moderator, isang announcement na lang. Kasi that's what we want. Eh. We want a unified way of learning and and uh, info dissemination. So, ganun yung mga mangyayari sa school year na to. I know this is going to be challenging for our students, especially sa mga mag-grade 11 pa lang, no? Uh, we were excited for the Ateneo education. And, you know, this is exciting. Uh, we, we made, you know, I think this is the most creative we can ever be, no? Yeah. Parang feeling ko, of all my years in teaching, dito lang yung pinaka-feeling ko, naging innovative kami. Dito lang yung feeling ko, nag-isip kami ng maayos. 
dito lang yun. Hindi naman ang maayos. So, baka kumaga <laughs> nag-seat ng malalim. Hindi naman maayos ng malalim. So, para bang ano eh, we, we found really ways on how to make sure that this learning work will work. Plus, of course, with our guide, with the guidance of our administrators and members of the faculty, our our higher admin, nagiging posible yung mga ganitong bagay. no So, uh, siguro ganito na lang. To, to those parents na still parang hindi pa rin certain sa way of uh, the right kids sir Robic ano yung ano kumbaga message na lang natin sa mga parents na i-enroll yung mga bata grade 11 sir Robic sa grade 11 na kasi sir yung grade 12 so grade 11 sir Robic ano yung message na may bibigay mo sa ating incoming grade 11 students and sa mga grade 11 parents natin or guardians na nanonood sir so <laughs> nonetheless uh for, to, uh, to for all grade 11, uh, incoming grade 11 parents, no? of course, we would like to uh, to invite you to enroll in Ateneo de Samoa University Senior High School because we are right on track. No? We have done so much preparation for this and eventually we don't want to put it in waste. So hopefully, uh, all, of, all of you will consider Ateneo as your second home even though <laughs> you have your homes already as we are locked down or in our... Uh, respective houses, but nonetheless, you have the best choice for Ateneo if yeah. you will if you will choose us. So we're on the right track. Don't yes. worry. Right. Thank you, Sir Robic. In line with that, no, don't forget there shall be an or STEM mm -hmm. for our Grade 11 students. Exciting, to. So, sa mga Grade 11, we have been conducting annual orientation sa mga Grade 11, but this time it's going to be special because it's virtual. Mm -hmm. So, imagine how a virtual orientation will look like. So, we're inviting our Grade 11 students to be with us on July 24, 25, and 26 for our orientation seminar. And of course, parents can watch, no? Dito nyo naman alaman, by the way, grade 11, kung sino yung magiging moderator nyo, kung paano yung conduct ng, ano natin, ng classes, kung sino-sino yung classmates ninyo. I think that's going to be very exciting. Sige, sa grade 12 naman, of course, kilala nyo yung mga classmates ninyo, pero hindi nyo pa kilala yung moderator nyo. So, by also the Orsem, by, o, by Orsem, you can also parang, uh, get to know who your moderator is, diba? Exciting din yun. Uh -huh. Plus, I think may mga ano naman tayo, may mga uh, pakulo tayo sa Orsen, so you, have, you watch with us, okay? Yes, Sir Joe, how about sa grade 12 parents natin? At saka sa, alam nyo naman, Sir, no, pag grade 12, graduating na kasi, so para bang yung last year sana namin na the best year <laughs> ng pandemic. So, what's our message for our incoming grade 12 students at saka sa mga very supportive natin na grade 12 parents and guardians? Okay, for this school year, it will really be different compared to the previous mm -hmm. school years. Siguro, pwede kong maihambing na itong, pan, itong school year na ito, it's just like a journey na hindi natin alam kung anong makikita natin along the way. Well, we'll, there will be humps, there will be crossroads, there will be hill and all. Pero yung akin lang is siguro is, if all the stakeholders, uh, the administration, the teachers, the learners, and the parents would walk in this journey hand in hand. Siguro naman, kahit anong obstacle yan dyan, um, and all, siguro mararating natin yung parang gusto natin, ano to, yung objective natin, and that is to form our learners. Okay. Sir, sure, i Yes, sure. Uh, so, uh, banking on Sir John's statement, basically, uh, we will, of course, uh, rely on the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. no? basically, because, of course, He is our guide, He is our compass. Uh, even though for a compass, basically, uh, it does not tell whether there's humps on the way, but it guides us to where to go. So if the compass guides us going north, through north, then Jesus will be our way. Jesus will be our way. And basically, we'll see Him as our guiding light. But also, let me also take this chance also to to market our humanities and social science <laughs> yes, grant. If you are, uh, what do you call this? If you are uh, wary of our political scenes, our social, social political problems, if you are keen on finding these issues, I, I implore those who have not yet decided to what strand you'll take, please take humanities and the social science strand, the human strand. Basically, but of course, we want also to expand our vision. So, Please enroll. We have more. so many slots still available yes. for yes. you. <laughs> so you don't have to worry. No, my mom. And plus, 
kung meron naman kasi tayong concerns about enrollment and all, you can always visit our ADSU Senior High School page. We are very responsive. Uh, we we uh, replies immediate. We reply rather immediately. So mabilis. Pagkano naman yun? We don't know what what the future holds, but definitely we know who holds the future. Yeah. Yes. So ganon na lang na no? parang we, we always look at it that way. Parang we always trust na lang talaga. Okay. Sige. So to 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 wrap it up, balikan natin no, especially sa mga ngayon palang manonood ng ating uh, Facebook uh, video. In, in this uh, pandemic and this new normal kumbaga, the school year 2020-2021 we will start classes hopefully by august no so sa august na yon contrary to the regular school day meron tayong apat na classes in two months so hatiin natin yon so after two months apat na naman so that that it that uh, cap- encapsulates our first semester because we have eight to nine subjects you don't have to worry we're both asynchronous and synchronous ibig sabihin we will be providing you with the, our right kit our module uh, that's designed by our by our teachers in Ateneo de Zamboanga University plus we will also have consultations via Facebook via Zoom or via eClass or Hangouts or Google Meet and so on and so forth and all other learning management systems you will be provided with the kit if dadaling sa inyo yung kit pwede yung digital pwede yung printed tapos ibabalik sa amin after yung sagutin because of course teachers need to check your assessment ano uh, answers no tapos we will also have hopefully we'll have one major uh, performance task kung ano and then we'll have some little enabling task that's uh, that's also can that can be uh, written work that can also be a performance task tapos hopefully we'll have uh, one uh, quarterly assessment every month hopefully uh, for other details of that pag-uusapan natin yan again to our grade 11 parents and uh, students don't forget na may awesome tayo on July 24 25 and 26 once again we thank our uh, uh, assistant principal for academics we have mr Mr. Engineer uh, Belin Rosagaran yeah. Jr. and we have our department chairperson of the humanities of social and social sciences, we have Mr. Rovic Janeslav. Again, catch us next time for our Aguila Online. This is Ramses Andaya, and we're always uh, going, we're always right on track for everyone. And of course, don't forget now you always watch our videos on Atanedes Ambonga University Senior High School, our official Facebook page. Thank you very much, and we are right, right on track. track. Thank you and good afternoon.